for Zambia to become a prosperous middle income nation by 2030. Work related gender inequality must be addressed. Despite women constituting the largest proportion of the economically active population at 51.6% compared to men at 48.4%, there are less women than men in the formal employment. The majority of women are concentrated in the informal sector with low quality jobs that have no safety nets and have erratic and low income flows. Despite this year's International Women's Day theme being about equality and women's rights, Zambia is one of the most unequal countries in the world as the country's Gini coefficient currently stands at 0.69. The income distribution has worsened since 2010 as the largest share of income approximately 52.6% was in the hands of the 10% population, the highest income group. Gender inequality in critical sectors such as labor and education has led to high poverty levels among women in Zambia. Gender Minister Elizabeth Piri explains what government is doing to address gender inequality. While there is a positive trend in the gender inequality index, there are still numerous obstacles that need to be resolved as women continue to be underrepresented in leadership and decision-making position compared to their male counterparts. You will observe that the intention to increase the levels of women participation in leadership continues to be hampered by various factors such as cultural barriers which has penetrated many institutions and the Zambian society. Constant intervention have been applied in key documents such as the 7th National Development Plan, the revised National Gender Policy of 2014, and its implementation plan, among others, which reflects the national vision on gender and development. Government also remains committed to international and regional instruments on gender development such as the Convention on Elimination of All Forms of Discrimination Against Women, the Beijing Declaration and Platform for Action adopted at the Fourth World Conference on Women in China, the Sustainable Development Goals and the Summit Protocols on Gender and Development, which have all I'm certain that we have capable women who are ready to take up the leadership challenges in institutions such as Segara A and beyond. If only they are afforded with equal opportunities to add their best thing for the International Women's Day. Indeed, women have to be facilitated with conducive environment and opportunities to participate in the development of this country through increasing their numbers to understand the extent of poverty that some Zambian women are enduring day in, day out, we visited Chunga Dump Site, which is the biggest dumping ground in Lusaka. We found women whose derelict condition has forced them to carry and sort out garbage for a living. Roy Desimbe takes care of a family of six comprising two children and four grandchildren. She is currently squatting at one of the markets in Lusaka. Doris Chileshe, another young lady laden with potential, says the lack of jobs has forced her to work at the landfill. Doris wants to venture into business but can't raise enough capital from the peanuts she makes at the landfill. Oh, in any bemo moon, I'm gonna buy a 
so mwamini umu ni kaido bata kuli isani chesi na mwamini wanga nilibecha ochi itachina wangu ndia chamini ni inachi chamini ochi nilinga funeche tanjizo wakitu wa nifasa kwa cheka hapi toyo wakitu nachoka mwamu na mboguli sa chabi nilinga funeche kwa cheka hapi toyo wa nifasa kwa cheka hapi na ini nibe nyumba niso nkela chabi bintu vivuta Maria Lungu, who could not speak on camera, says living on hand to mouth has proven to be difficult for her and therefore would like well wishes to help her with capital for business. Vision 2030 will remain a pipe dream if necessary attention is not given to women to ensure equal participation in economic development. As the world observes International Day for Women, it is important to note that the call for gender equality is not one that seeks to equate men to women because the two are uniquely created with strengths and weaknesses meant to complement each other.